So what you just said to me, oh, the, what you eat, it doesn't matter, yeah? Jesus disagrees with you in your scripture. No, I don't think he does. Re really? Yeah. Do you accept that the teachings of the disciples reflect the teachings of Jesus? Are you talking about the Synod of Jerusalem? No, I'm saying to you, do you accept the teachings of the disciples of Jesus are a reflection of what Jesus taught? Yes. Right. So if the disciples of Jesus taught all the food laws do matter, yeah, yeah then what you just said is wrong. Yeah. Yes. And I, I use the food dietary law thing as an example. Yeah. Yeah. Paul was teaching something different to the disciples. Yeah. Now you might think it's just dietary law and food law and it doesn't really matter, love God all your, all your heart and all that. Yeah. It matters profusely. The Re reason why? Whatever was revealing to Paul, yeah, was contrary to what the disciples were teaching. <coughs> and when the disciples... I disagree. I okay. disagree. I'll tell you why. Well, I'll tell you how bad it got for Paul, that he was told to come and repent for preaching that. Sorry, say that bit again. Paul was told to repent for teaching that. You like? Oh, you mean in Acts 15? Acts 21. Can you show me? Are you the man with the Bible in your hand? There are no verses. Oh, this is a flipping strange... What kind of flipping Bible is this? Tinder. All right. It's, it's 100 years before King James. Flipping it. On the morrow, oh, flipping it, went in with us unto James, and all the seniors came together. And when he had saluted them, he told by order what things God had brought amongst the Gentiles by his misdirection. When they heard it, they glorified the Lord and said unto him, Thou sayest, brother, how many thousands of Jews, which, have, which believe, and they're all zealous over the law, they are informed of that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses mm. and says that thou ought not to circumcise their children, neither to live after the customs. Yes. What it is there for? The most of the Gentiles. One second. Not to what it is there for? The multitude must needs come together, for they shall hear that thou art come. Do therefore this is what we say to you. We have men here who have a vow on them, right. meaning mean they have to go and yeah, repent. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the Nazarite vow. And take a purify, purify yourself with them and do cost on them that they may shave their heads and all shall know the things that which they have heard of are nothing meaning that doesn't mean he repented no listen listen he was just listen, a, he listen, is a Jew listen, who listen, is keeping the law. listen listen first That's thing what he was showing. first thing the disciples are saying to Paul here uh, we've heard you've done this and the people think you've done this but to show you haven't done this then you need to do this right so it means you don't believe these things no that's I'd have to differ with all right you all right okay I think what he's the, what they're saying but, is that but thou thy no look that they shall know the things which they have heard are of nothing and that thou yourself keep the law yes that was the key thing as we have taught the Gentiles and concluded they absorb observe no such things but they keep themselves from things offered to idols yeah. from blood and yes. from strangled and from fornication yes. then the next day Paul took the men and purified himself with them we know what Paul's been preaching you don't have to keep the law we know this in, in so, to the Gentiles yeah he's he's preaching eat what you like in the meat market without fear of conscience yeah we know he's preaching this mm -hmm. yeah. and the disciples said we've heard this and the people know you've come here mm -hmm. but to show you don't believe that yourself yeah Okay. And, and, to sh and to show that you do keep the law, right? you need to purify yourself, yes. make burnt offering yes. as your repentance, which is the only point of burnt well, offering. Well, it doesn't say that. Well, the Nazarite vow is for repentance. If you make the Nazarite vow, it's for repentance. Burning, making a burnt offering is for repentance. I, I don't know that it was necessary. Okay, I'll give you the... You can give your own narrative. Yeah, okay. okay. Because we have told the Gentiles, yeah. they, do, they abstain I from blood. I see your point. Yeah? yeah? We told the Gentiles they abstain from blood. Yeah. They uh, don't eat blood of a strangled animal, yes. nor any animal sacrifice to an idol. Yes. So they ba we basically told that's the Acts 15. No, that's what they. That's told Acts, 15, Acts 15. That Acts 15 is the Council of Jerusalem. Yeah, but that's what they told the Gentiles. Uh, Acts 15 okay. is the Council of Jerusalem when yeah. it was decreed. Yeah. This is a reminder of the decree. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yes. This is showing them we've already told them this. Yeah. So you, and you're telling them something else. Right. Okay. Now. This is how my whole conversation started here. Yes, no, yeah, yeah, you as a Christian sense. today yeah. are going against the teachings of the disciples. Because you're not doing what they decreed. I, I see your point. Good. But I disagree. Good. Because the, the, what was disturbing the Jews in Jerusalem was that, that he was undermining the Mosaic law. That's what they couldn't handle as Jews. They were keeping the Mosaic law and they were following Jesus too. And they thought, we as Jews, following Jesus as a Jew. What did they decree for Gentiles? 
details. You must also follow what the did, law. What, you've missed the point. What did the disciples decree for Gentiles? Just that they keep themselves from being strangled. Right. That they um, <laughs> that they don't fornicate. Right. That they keep themselves from blood. Right. Not to eat blood. What does that mean? What does that mean? Not eat blood. There mustn't be blood in the meat. Oh, how do you stop blood being in the meat? Well, you drain it off. Halal or kosher? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you. Um, what's the last one? And you don't worship idols. You don't. No, you don't. You don't eat animal sacrifice to idols. To idols. What was Paul teaching about that? Oh right. Now Paul said, if you take anything from the shambles, eat it without conscience, right. do it without worry. Now but he, it, says, but he goes on to say, but if your conscience troubles you, don't eat right, it. Right, right. So Paul's saying, which he's saying from God's perspective, God actually doesn't mind. I agree. I agree. So Paul's saying, eat from the marketplace, whatever you like. But if yeah. it troubles you, don't eat it. The disciples are decreeing, don't eat it. Yes. So Paul's saying, make a choice. Yes. And the disciples are saying, don't eat it. Yes. All right. Can you not see the contradiction? No, it's not because one. One is in a Gentile uh, con context, where it's all Greeks getting saved. The other is in a Jewish context, where Jews are getting saved. One man is saying, one man is saying, Jews. don't worry about what you eat, and the disciples are saying, worry about what you eat, right? And you're saying there's no contradiction because of the background. No, now, if, one say, man is saying, don't yeah. worry about what you eat, and the disciples of Jesus are saying, worry about what you eat. You say there's no contradiction. No, I agree, there's a contradiction. A huge contradiction. All right, now here's the sad thing. Christians today are still not following the disciples of Jesus. They're following Paul's teachings. I would disagree. Okay, as a, are you a Christian? Yes, sir. Do you eat the blood of an animal? No. You, you eat halal? Do you, when you eat a chicken, is it a halal chicken? No, it's just, it's just what I buy from the shambles. So it's, so it's not a I chicken? do what Paul says. Oh, this is exactly my point. Yeah. Why do you do what Paul says and not what the disciples say? Because Paul Paul defines what it means to be a Christian. And the disciples don't? They were in a Jewish context. Paul was, a was no, the apostle to the Gentiles. No, 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 no. And I'm a Gentile. No, first thing, uh, um, this, de this decree by the disciples of Jesus, I I keep who we've just things, said... But I keep them. No, we just, no. I don't think eat things no. to idols. I don't... You eat blood? No, I don't eat blood. Yes, you do. No, no, no. no yes, you do. Me. Yes, you do. Do you eat halal chicken? Do you eat kosher chicken? Yeah, I do eat the halal chicken, but I... You know, I, I, no, I don't want to be Exposed. Okay, we've exposed that Paul is teaching something different to the disciples on this issue, empirically. Uh, no, so now we have you, a problem. Yeah, you've got a narrative which is no, it's no, a problem. No, no, no. I, no, no. I accept I'll explain why it's a problem. But it isn't a problem. I'll explain why it's a problem. You explain why it's a problem. Oh, okay, because once you do that, and once you trust Paul, yeah. then you listen to everything else he says. Now, if you look at the teachings of Christianity, Jesus didn't teach them. Original sin is not a teaching of Jesus. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's, you just made two things there. You yeah. talked about the teachings of Paul and yeah. the teachings of Christianity. I agree the teachings of Christianity are not the teachings of Jesus. I disagree that the teachings of Paul are not the teachings of Jesus. Paul taught the same as Jesus. Christianity doesn't teach the same as Jesus. I've just shown you. Don't confuse you. Paul's teachings with Christianity. Did Paul teach the same about Jesus when it comes to food? No. No, he didn't. Jesus was in a Jewish context. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Jews who got saved, who believe, followed Jesus, still no. had to keep the law. No, the decree by the disciples were for Gentile Christians. No, but those weren't mosaic. Those weren't mosaic. Laws. Gentiles. Those four they things. They were Gentiles. Were are you a Gentile? Yes. Are you a Gentile? Yes. So the disciples have told you what you can eat and what yes. you can't eat. Yes. And you ignore them. No, I don't. You do. I don't eat Which blood. means you ignore Jesus. No, I don't eat blood. If your chicken or your beef or your lamb is not halal or it's not kosher, then you're eating the blood, mate. But God is not going to send me to hell because of that. <laughs> is he? Come on. He's not. Don't you understand? God is not going to send me to hell. Don't you miss? You're missing. You're not doing what Jesus said. So Paul comes along now claiming to be a prophet. Yes. Yeah? And we test uh, an apostle, him. And we test him. <clears throat> and his fruits are, he's not doing what Jesus said. No. And I'll tell you how it gets worse for you. Because if you read your book, you like Revelations. Yeah. What does it That's say about John. what does it say about Balaam? What it was Balaam. about someone amongst you doing what Balaam yes, did. Yes, yeah, that's it. Who's, One uh, of the, the churches. Uh, who was Balaam? Balaam was the prophet who was called to bring a curse upon Israel by King Balak. And what happened to him? He refused to um, bring a curse upon him. So what he happened said, to him? How beautiful are thy tents? What, did, what, what happened to him? He he continued to rebel against God. He was shown a false prophet. Yes. And he preached what? 
Eat what you like in the meat markets. Eat food? Eat food sacrificed to idols. Forget the dietary laws. Yes, he did. So now in Revelations, we have a warning of a, someone amongst you who is doing what Balaam did. So now you tell me in the community who was doing what Balaam did. Who, who amongst the Christians, the disciples or whomever, was teaching you could go against the law of the food, the food laws? Only one man. Paul. But you know why? By their fruits you shall know them. But I can tell you why it was only one man. Why? Because he was preaching to the Gentiles. He was the apostle to the Gentiles. No, he was a self-appointed. He was a self-appointed apostle. He gave hope. Who calls him an apostle? Dogs. Who called him an apostle? Other than himself. Um, Peter does. No? He does. No, oh. he said, no, he said, I, who am also an apostle. And don't quote through Peter because that okay. wasn't written by Peter. When Jesus says them words, yes. do you think Jesus is declaring all food clean in Mark 7 and in Matthew 19? I've never really thought that much about it. Really? It doesn't matter that much to me. Honestly, it doesn't matter that much to me. So it doesn't matter when Jesus is teaching something using parables in the New Testament and you're saying it doesn't matter to you? No, the, the, the teachings of Jesus matter to me. But whether... Um, I don't believe that God is concerned par par primarily whether I eat pork or not. No, why is concerned? Is you following his teachings and his messengers, and you don't? No, I disagree with you. I've just proven you don't. Emphasize it. Yes, Jesus kept the law, and he encouraged people to keep the law. But he also told people to love one another. Yeah, I and know that. It's nothing to do with what we're and saying. To love God. Now you're emphasizing one part of his teaching. I'm emphasizing another. No, part I'm of emphasizing his all of it. Why did God say don't eat pork in the Bible, man, and then don't eat blood? Because it, because pork is is a kind of animal. It doesn't sweat. It, ca it carries the toxins in its fat. Right. Yeah. And eat yeah, whatever. Yeah. And they will eat any old. Where rubbish. in the Bible is pork described as food anywhere? It's not. It's, it's never. It's, 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 it's a pig is a disgusting animal. Right. Yet yeah. you eat it. Fair enough. I, I don't eat pork. Yes. Because God says, don't eat Correct. pork. Good. But I, I and, and I don't eat blood of an animal. Yes. Because God says, don't eat the blood yes. of an animal. And that is good. Right. And God will now, now the difference between me and you, you pick and choose what you want to do with God. See, God tells you don't eat the blood of animal you I, I think you're being you'd, fair, I, I'm, I'm being bang on bro and, and unfortunately it's horrible to hear I know because you have to think about this you reflect on this honestly I will do because you're doing something against the teachings of God okay and the teachings you're following to do this is Paul right no, and I, I, would, I disagree with you then. okay so Paul didn't say eat what you like in the meat market and it was you only had the disciples of Jesus then I'm not picking and choosing because you just said I'm picking and choosing from the Bible. okay okay so if Paul didn't write about eating what you like in the meat market and the disciples of Jesus decreed you should eat this, you wouldn't eat that. You wouldn't. But you follow what Paul said. Because you like it. You think he's a Gentile apostle. <laughs> That's why.